Hello again. Here's another update. This time I'm facing, I'm standing on the porch of my living space and I'm looking in the direction from which I usually come to my building. The house, um, the greenhouse, the studio behind. And I'm going to give you an update on some of the stuff we've been doing recently. So starting with the outdoor kitchen, you might be wondering why do I have an outdoor kitchen and a little bit of an indoor kitchen in my living space. And that's because I want to do my more messy, um, bigger project, kitchen, cooking projects out here and do my just heating up things and light cooking in my living space since it's such a small space. Now in here it's been doubling as a storage place for tools and supplies that I need to, um, you know, to work on my building, all the paint and tools and things. But this uh, countertop area and the storage, as well as the sink, it just has cold running water. And then the stove here is just a camp stove, propane. Yesterday we we um, hooked up the propane. We've got a tank out in the back behind there. And fired up the stove and it works so I'm guessing that next spring we're starting we're in fall right now <clears throat> I don't know how much I'll use it during the winter that's a pretty bold um, idea to be doing much cooking out here in the cold time of the winter but definitely in the spring I'm gonna decide if I want to make this into a little more of an enclosed space so it's a little more hospitable for cooking. Now let's go inside. It is actually raining lightly, sprinkling, which <clears throat> first time this fall, that's been pretty exciting. Okay, inside, add it over here first. <clears throat> Got that nice little mirror and a little cabinet to put various different items that I need in there. So I'm starting to put, you know, bring stuff in. And my approach is rather than packing everything up in my old place and bringing it all in here and trying to fit it all in all at once, like my usual experience with moving, it's like that. You just kind of do it all as fast as you can and take your time unpacking and everything. Well, this is really different because I have way more stuff than I can fit in here and it's a process for me of sorting and getting rid of things. Um, but right now you can see what we did here in the kitchen area. I do have an electric um, hot plate and I really don't like cooking on electric so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to live with this. It's extremely slow to heat up and extremely slow to cool and it makes it harder to cook. The way that I usually do. But now a big addition here that I'm really happy with is this partition between the cooking area and the lounging and sleeping area. So it's just enough so that any kind of splashes, you know, will pre I'll be protecting um, the bedding and, and all that on the other side of that. So that nice curved piece of wood is actually part of this table. So I bought this used tabletop and we cut it in half and we put it in over here. We had half of it left. So we cut that to fit just right into this spot. And that's really nice because that curved edge to me is really appealing and it's also smooth and I don't have to add any trim to it. So it kind of saves on some work and uh, I don't really have the skills to do that kind of curved trim work. And then underneath the cabinets, I put in little wrought iron hooks so that I can hook or I can have a place to store my utensils. And that stainless steel canister is my water filter because I like to pr um, filter our tap water that we have here. So I'll be using just stored tap water under the sink, pump it up through that spigot, and that will be just for, you know, rinsing hands, maybe some light dishwashing. 
but my drinking water is in that canister and that quart jar. And so let's go around. Now this bedding area, this is new. Um, you can see I have this green, this is actually a piece of foam covered in some green fabric. I'm still not sure yet if I want to keep that there. Um, I have the uh, cotton futon. That's what you see hanging there, and it's also covered with a sheet right now. So in the morning, I undo my bedding and I hang my futon up there so that it can air out. Futons tend to mildew if they don't have some airflow underneath. So I'm very happy to do that because I love sleeping on cotton. And um, I kind of like the ritual. I'm learning how to create this morning ritual where I take my bedding apart. I roll the covers and all the blankets down to the bottom there and I cover them up and then I put pillows in the corner. So it doubles in the daytime as a lounging area. We also put in a little shelf that when I'm in bed, so my head is at that end and so it's nice to have, you know, a light and a clock and things like that next to where you sleep. So I think that covers it. Um, I did bring in some books and I thought, oh, let's see how they look up there. And that does look like a great spot to have books. And I'll be bringing out some more. Just brought out my books on poetry. Um, and I hung this little bell. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I have um, noticed it used to hang in, in another space. And whenever I'd come into the room, I'd have it hanging right by the doorway. And I'd ring the bell. And it just was a reminder of, you know, transition going from one space into another. Kind of a spontaneous little, little thing that I've started doing. And um, I actually really like it a lot. It's sweet. Okay, so that's it for this uh, um update and see you next time with some more when it's ready. Bye.